We have been traveling around Italy, learning as much as we can about the Giro d'Italia over the last week. We're gonna go to a bar and test how much knowledge we actually have about this race. How are you feeling about this, Michael? Concerned. <laughs> All right, this is the Giro d'Italia, Ian and friends. I'll just say not Ian. This is the Giro oh, d'Italia. Hold up, I was, I was trying to not sit on my... <laughs> no, let's take the phone oh, out. I just put, just put it in your lap. Put the phone in your lap. Giro d'Italia drink, drinking, trivia, uh, trivia drinking trivia game? drinking game, yeah. yeah. This is the Giro d'Italia trivia drinking game. We're here with cycling guide of One More Ride, Andrea Nicosia. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're drinking here? Of course. So we're drinking local Amaro. Amaro is what we drink generally after dinner to help digesting what we just ate. And we will test five different Amaro from five different regions where the Giro will go through. Okay, so I will tell you something about what you're drinking every time you drink something. Beautiful. Wonderful. All right, yeah. so Michael and I... That <laughs> 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 smells great. Uh, Michael and I have made trivia questions for each other. Andrea will be asking them. Michael will start with the first question. Or Michael's question first. Okay. <laughs> allora. So, Ian. Ready. How do you pronounce these famous rays? <laughs> Giro d'Italia. Okay, well done. Passable? <laughs> was that passable? <laughs> well, it was okay. It was okay? It was okay. Was okay. Just think... take a, a small sip? Yeah, a small sip. <laughs> I think you should start with a small one. Yeah, okay. yeah. it was acceptable, but not perfect. Okay. <laughs> so okay. we'll start from uh, uh, the Amaro from Bologna, which is called Montenegro. The Bologna is where we start the Giro next year. So please, help yourself. This guy? Yes. All right. Sweet, a little bit nutty, um, quite bitter. <laughs> well, that's why we call it amaro. <laughs> amaro in English, mean, in Italian, means bitter. Oh, okay. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Can you pronounce uh, Giro d'Italia for us so we More got course. it? Giro d'Italia. All right. Italian lessons with Andrea. We've been getting them all week. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> okay. This is a good one. Ready? <laughs> Can't wait. Why is the jersey of the leader of the Giro d'Italia pink? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> because La Gazzetta del Sport, the newspaper that owns the Giro d'Italia, is pink. All right. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I went on their bus twice <laughs> this week. So I actually. You don't, you don't have to drink it. You don't have to drink it. Unless you really want it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll right. pace myself over. The <laughs> questions get progressively harder, so yep. you should pace yourself, yeah. All right, Ian. Ready? Yep. So what Giro d'Italia winner has been recognized as right who's among the nations? Greatest among the nations? Like the single winner? Righteous. Righteous, Righteous. among the nations. Sorry. Oh. Gino Bartoli, because... He, famous story about him um, during World War II, would ride his bicycle to deliver documents to um, Jewish residents of Italy to help them escape the Nazi forces of the time. Really incredible story. I don't have time to get all into yeah. it here, but nice try, Michael. Well done. <laughs> well, yeah, well done. So I'll let you... No, I'll days. save, I'll save. I, I heard right. these But tell us a little bit about what the second drink... I'll take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> so this is called Amaro del Capo, which is uh, Amaro mm, from the boss. Okay. Okay, and it comes from the southern region of Italy. Okay. It's really nice and aromatic. So you should like it. Is. It is. I do quite enjoy it. It's not yeah. quite as bitter, a little bit sweeter. Yeah, that's right. All right. All right. Let's go ahead. Michael. Yes. This is quite difficult. <laughs> so who is the only rider from Canada to win the Giro d'Italia? And what year did they win? Oh. 
<laughs> you're, you're adding me to our Canadian fans right now, Ian. <laughs> to be fair, you did say you... Yeah, I don't know how old you were when this rider won, but it was around the time you actually started racing bicycles. Around the time I started? Maybe a little bit after. Oh, Ryder Hagedal. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the hand. Ryder Hagedal, and he would have done that in... 2013. Drink. A half sip. Guess you got half of it right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, with some out. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Okay. Well, you're not supposed to shoot it. No, no, no you're right. You're right. An Italian would look down at me for that. <laughs> That's right, yeah. This is good for you. It's for your digestion. No, you're totally right. Okay. Who is the first American to win a stage of the Giro d'Italia? Oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, it's. I feel like the answer is obvious, so I don't really want to go with the obvious answer. I would not go with the obvious answer at all. It doesn't sound very obvious to me. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Ron Kiefel of Team 7-Eleven. Well, yes. Really, I, I'm impressed. I'm going to really celebrate impressed. with a drink. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, I mean, you're drinking now something from the mountains. So this is uh, called Chinar, and it comes from Piedmont, so where the big Alps are towards France. Yeah. And it's made with artichokes leaves. So the Amaro is an infusion, okay? So we just pick up some herbs or uh, artichokes leaves in this case, and we just put them in alcohol and infuse to get some uh, flavor. It tastes like uh, artichoke, artichoke leaves, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I can't wait until I try mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you will. <laughs> All right. So, Michael. I'm not yes. so bad for you now. Wow. Yeah. I think you should start drinking now. <laughs> <laughs> so, who owns the record for the most successive victories in the Giro d'Italia? Oh, you should let them know what year it occurred yeah. from. Uh, 1972, 1974. Most successive victories. Three victories in a row. Mm. Bernard Hino. And he worked! Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, even the kids know that. Well, the Italian kids. Anyway. <laughs> that, that was like 20 years before I was born. Up, uh, it doesn't uh, matter. That's only our first non fully yeah. correct question, and that's right. look how far <laughs> through we are. At least I have my youth. <laughs> <laughs> So, name the start and end points of the inaugural Giro d'Italia. Um, Milan and Milan. Goodness. <laughs> Can you tell me? We're what? a lot smarter than our YouTube commenters think we are. <laughs> Our audience one, one of us, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you be more specific? Where in Milan did they start oh. and finish? Let's see if he knows that. Ah. Oh, outside of an ancient Roman stadium. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Uh, I thought they all started and finished at Roman stadium. Nah, they no. start at the Vigorelli, which is the velodrome mm. in Milano, and they finish in the Piazza Duomo. Who won the second edition of the Giro d'Italia? That is a tough one. The second edition, <laughs> held in 1910. Get you, extra credit for that, right? Mm, uh, I bet, uh, bet you didn't study <laughs> this answer on the <laughs> drive over here. <laughs> uh, I have no idea. I'm just going to start drinking now. <laughs> yeah, you better start drinking. <laughs> so the name of the rider is Carlo Galletti from Atala team. So, what are we drinking here? So you're drinking something from Verona and well this is a bit different because this is not mm. an Amaro because Verona doesn't have an Amaro, a local Amaro. They make some good grappa and this grappa is made mm. with the best wine made in Verona, the Amarone. It's, it's so, actually quite delicious. 
Well, almost like vodka. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's a bit stronger than Yamaha, right? All right. All right. Ready? That's all ever be. Okay. What is the name of the trophy awarded to the winner of the Giro d'Italia? Um, I feel like knowing Italian would help me with this. Uh, <laughs> it, it's tall and it goes up in a spiral <laughs> and it's silver and it's, it's, it's gold. It's gold. Yeah. It's gold? Okay, oh, yeah. Yeah. all right, then I'm already on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. Okay, so the it? name of the trophy is Trofeo Senza Fine. So, in English, is endless trophy. Oh. Plus the spirals. The spirals do, go up. Do they add to the spirals? No, but well, all the names of the winners yeah. are on. So I guess if they get to the end, then people higher, are still ringing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're going to have to start adding eventually. Yeah, I guess yeah. so, yeah. Well, it's a beautiful yeah. trophy. Yeah. It's yeah. a beautiful trophy. You should look for it, a it picture of possibly the, the best one. trophy in cycling. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. the best race <laughs> in the world. So <laughs> You heard it here first. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> All right, well, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, go study up. We may or may not be back with another version of Giro d'Italia trivia drinking game. <laughs> Hope not.